Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Gary Roberts back with another video. Um, and today I'm going to just be going over, you know, a few key things. So, why most network marketers uh, fail in the industry. Um, so, I'm going to get right into it. Uh, number one, I believe, is, you know, they fail to brand themselves. Um, you know, most newbies, when they get into a company, uh, first thing they do is, you know, they start posting their business everywhere. Um, and you, some people, they even make, you know, their profile picture, their company logo. Um, I've actually done this before uh, when I first got started in network marketing. My whole page used to just be company, 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 company. Um, and that's one of the main reasons why a lot of people fail because you know you're looking like a commercial out there you're out there you know pretty much forcing your business down people's throats or you're looking like your page got hacked you know you know them little walmart deals uh you know the walmart deals that people be tagging people in when their their pages get hacked that's how the ordinary person looks at, at it when you make a transformation from you know, posting regular stuff on your Facebook to now you're just talking about business, 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 business. Uh, so one thing you really want to do is brand yourself, you know, shoot videos or, you know, just brand yourself as some type of marketer. There's like three different categories of marketers. You have um, your trainers, you have your lifestyle marketers, and you have uh, your motivational marketers, right? And... You have to choose one. That those are the three different type of brands you can choose from uh, of marketing: a trainer, a lifestyle marketer, or you know, um, or being a motivational marketer, or you know, uh, a traffic marketer. And you have to choose one and brand yourself as that type of marketer, and not just branding your company, not just promoting your company everywhere, not just saying oh i'm in this company this company this company you want people to join you like they always say you know people join people not companies right well that's 100 percent true people will join you off of the strength of how comfortable they feel with you and how secure they feel about their future following you right so you want to get out there and let make people find out who you are and promote yourself of who you are what's your dreams what's your goals you know what's your vision in the business you know, things you like, things you like to do. Start showing people who you are and how you're able to benefit from having your own business. Don't just, I got my own business, I got my own business, I got my own business, and make people forget who you are to the point all they know is your business. So you want to keep it in the mix and actually brand yourself and put yourself um, out there. Uh, and that's a key in business, and that's a key, major key in network marketing, okay? Uh, number two, main reason why um, a lot of network marketers fail is, you know, they fail to launch their business. Um, a lot of people who join these companies, they, they take their $100 or $200 or $300 or whatever the price range is. And, you know, most people are, nowadays, you know, we spend $100, $200, $300 um, on a day-to-day basis right so 200 300 100 dollars isn't nothing nowadays definitely for people online um, so a lot of people they spend this money um just like taking a gamble like you know what else can i lose you know or it's not that much money uh, hundred dollars let me try this thing out and they never really take their business uh serious as if they invested 10 20 30 thousand um, and that's the, the uh, huge problem. Like when you're joining a business, you're not just joining a network marketing company just to get some commissions. Like you need to look at it like I just partnered up with this company. Here's our CEO and I'm my own CEO for how I'm going to run things on this side. And you have to look at it that way and get people excited. When you're launching your business or when you join your business, be excited. Like, let people know, hey, this is going to be the biggest thing I've worked on. You definitely want to get a part of the movement. You definitely want to You want to make it sound big like you're launching something, not just, hey, I joined this company the other day. Who wants to sign up? So you have to launch your business and get people excited and get people wondering 
you know, what it is you're working on and what it is you got coming. And that's how you launch a business. Like, you contact everybody. You get the excitement going. You get everybody to know what you're about to do. Um, and you put it out there into the world. And that's how you launch a business. You know, um, you, you definitely want to have a core group of people that you know you're, you're going to come in and, and game plan with a core group of people. Uh, plan on how you do that shit. But like I said, you want to just have full excitement and let people know, hey, this thing is going to move with or without you. You don't want it to be or sound like a type of thing where you need people to join you. You want it to sound like, look, we're doing this and we're launching it and this is where we're taking it. All right. So those are two key tips that I just feel like a lot of network marketers could use is brand yourself. And when you join a business, launch it. All right. So it's Gary Roberts. Just wanted to stop, shoot a quick video uh, before I go on with the rest of my day. Hope you guys have a great day. It's Friday. Get Money Friday. Hope you all have a blessed day. I'm out.